Earlier I shared a poem from Eckhart Tolle, Awareness is the greatest agent for change. And so I have some awareness to share with you tonight. <clears throat> from the time we are born, our brains identify with everything that we see that creates the world in our mind. And thus, the ego comes alive through identification of form and time. Form begins when we learn of mom and dad, me and mine. These are my toys and if you steal them from me, I will cry. My job, my car, my life, my rules. I'm happy when things go my way and I'm depressed when I lose. Happy-go-lucky or frustrated and confused, these emotions become who we are when we don't know how to choose. Time is a line which we can see in our minds where the past is where you were born and the future is when you die. Currently, you reside somewhere in the middle, but let's not bother with that. Let's keep our minds on the cold, hard facts. From this line, you could visualize a picture book of all the things that have happened to you in the past that make you who you are now, and all the stuff that you will surely do in the future, which, help, which helps to shape your decisions now. When in all reality, form and time is all an illusion made up in your mind. In fact, the average human being spends 80% of their entire lives in streamlined, repetitive, totally unaware, negative, never satisfied, unconscious thought of future and past. Maybe we should take a moment to reformat our hard drives and realize that we are separate from our minds. The brain is a tool built for us to identify with form and time which creates who we think we are, a.k.a. the ego, or who the mind thinks it is. And it thinks a lot. But you are not it. Your life is emanating out of you right now at the speed of light. And in this moment, you do not have to be attached to any future or past. Because in all reality, the only moment that you will truly ever have is this moment right now. Wake up. Welcome to consciousness. The goal of this game is to catch your mind thinking over and over and over again. Don't judge it, just catch it. Watch it and see it disintegrate as you step into awareness of it. Feel free to experience the joy of being in those moments because you are. Seeing that your mind is automatically thinking is the equivalent to the Buddhist awakening. Dusting off your eyes from the dream and setting yourself free. Freedom from the unsatisfied ego and salvation from the mind. And in the times of intense emotion, have faith that you'll be fine. Because everything happens for a reason. Just snap back into reality and become the watcher. Eventually, you will become so aware that the mind becomes you will be the master. So, when I ask a question, you say now. If happiness were anywhere, where would it be? If all your dreams were manifesting into reality, when would it be? If miraculous healing of the spirit, mind, and body were anywhere, where would it be? And if every single one of us were enlightened human beings existing, where and when would it be? And where two or more gather in agreement, I am. <laughs>